What's up everybody, welcome to your first tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be introducing something called structures. So um, what a structure is, is um, kind of a variable that lets you store a bunch of similar information. Now while an array can hold a bunch of similar items, all of the items in an array have to be the same data type, such as char, int, float, uh, stuff like that. But with structures you can store a bunch of um, related information and it doesn't have to be the same data type so say you wanted to store information about a bunch of people like their name and uh, how old they are first you have a char variable for their name and an integer variable for how old they are you couldn't do this with an array so what C++ did is it made something called a structure and it lets you hold items of um, more than one data type and in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is declare a structure. And to do this, you need to use the syntax struct, struct. And then after, this is the syntax for structure, struct. So this is going to stay the same when you're declaring all your structures. And next, you want to um, give a name or a tag when you're declaring your structure and I'm gonna name my new person since we are gonna be talking about people today now after this press enter and add two curly braces and add a semicolon at the end now in your curly braces you're gonna add something called members and a member is pretty much all of the bits of information that you're gonna to wanna to use in your structure so the first type of variable we're going to want to use is something called, uh, let's store the person's name. So in all of these structures, we're going to want to store the person's name and age. So let's go ahead and make a char name 20. And if you don't know what all this means, then it's in my last tutorials. So now we're in the name variable, we're going to um, store the person's name. And another piece of information we're probably going to want to store is an int, and we'll name that variable age. So integer, age is an integer, you guys all know that. So again, just to recap, the struct is the keyword for declaring a structure. structure. The new person is called the tag when declaring a structure. And all of these things, new person has two members. It has your name and the age variable. And again, these are just the types of variables. So now that we declared our structure, we're going to uh, want to know how to use our structure in an actual program. So here's your program, int main, right here. And anytime you want to use a structure, this is what you need to do. The first thing that you're going to need to do is first get your structure's um, declaration by saying new person and yours might be different but that's the one I'm gonna use so new person and we'll say um, Greg cuz or let's just say Bucky cuz that's who I'm talking about now now that we have the person's Bucky we're gonna wanna say some information about him so we gotta tell what the um the name and the age of Bucky is so go ahead and add your uh, curly braces and semicolon, just as always. And the syntax for doing this is, um, of course, we have a char variable. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add the name. Now we use this and set it equal to the first variable in your structure. And since we're using the new person structure, the first variable is a name. So give me my name. It's Bucky. And just add a regular um, comma, and then and on the next line, the next piece of information that our structure asks for is its age. So go ahead and add 21, and uh, you don't need a comma after that since that is the last part of declaring our structure. And now we have the information from Bucky. My name is Bucky, and my age is 21. So in case you're wondering, all right, now we have all this, how can we actually use this as a variable? Anytime you want to use this as a variable, let me just show you guys output on the screen. The first thing 
when you're calling your variable the first thing you need to do is find the tag and the tag is Bucky so go ahead and write Bucky and the next thing you're gonna wanna write is whatever member you want to use and these are the members name age so let's say Bucky age or the age of Bucky that's what we want to use so go ahead and I'm just gonna end my line so again whenever you want to use a structure you need to um, first make the tag and then you want to name your structure and then you insert the pieces of information that go along with your structure and again whenever you want to call it you name your tag first and then you name whatever member of it and that's how you call it so let's execute compile and run and hopefully if I didn't get any errors I should have the number 21 and there you go and that is how you use structures for when you are using um, structures in C++. So again, let's just recap this one more time so it'll stick in your head because I know it's really confusing. The first thing you want to do when you want to use structures in your program is the first thing is to put the tag new person of your structure that you already declared. The next thing that you're going to want to do is make the name that um, you're going to be using when you uh, use your tag. So I'm going to name mine um, Haas. We have a person named Haas. And again, add your um, two curly braces and, a, and an apostrophe. And in your uh, curly braces, you add the structure members. So the first thing it asks for is the name and the name for this person is going to be Haas Jones and the next thing it asks for is the age and he's going to be 45 so those are the two things that it asks for name and age and again to output on the screen you first need its tag which is Haas and then name or actually we would do age this time you need its tag and then its member which is pretty much who you're talking about and what property you're talking about so let's go ahead and execute compile and run and hopefully if nothing goes wrong which it did new person Haas oh we forgot to add an equal sign and since you're um, declaring variables, remember that equal sign. Anytime you declare a variable, you have to have equal sign. Execute, compile, and run. And it'll work this time, trust me. We get the age of Haas Jones, 45. So uh, this is something you guys need to watch probably a couple times. Learn this until it sticks in your head. The most confusing part of this is the syntax. So once you learn it, you'll be fine. So um, again, thank you for watching. In the next tutorial, we're probably going to be going over how to work with text files. It's going to be real interesting. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. All of this information I'm going to have posted on my website, thenewboston.com. So if you want to just copy it, you can go right to my site and get it there. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.